I grew my email list by 33% once I switched over to Flowdesk and in this 11 minute video, I'm going to show you all the ways that I use Flowdesk and everything you need to know to use Flowdesk yourself to grow your email list too. Let's jump right into the Flowdesk dashboard. All right, so once you get logged into Flowdesk, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. In the top left, you're going to see the Flowdesk logo. Anytime you click this, you're going to be brought back to this page. Along the top here, you have your menu options, navigation options. These are all the features that we're going to go through momentarily. But first off, I don't want to skip this step because it is actually very important over in your account. So make sure, take the time to go fill this out, plug in your business name for your handle. So that like, if you have any landing pages, it will be your business.myflowdesk.com forward slash freebie, for example, and your time zone, you can change your password if you need. And then this is going to be how it appears when you send emails. So Sam at Samantha Digital, this way people aren't, aren't just wondering like who the heck is Sam? And then of course the from email. And then the this, well, actually both email setup and domain setup are very important. Domain setup requires you to log into your domain registrar. If you don't know how to do this and you want a separate video on it, just leave a comment below and I'll definitely create it for you guys. And then here you can also get uh, set up with your checkout. So if you do want to set up checkout pages, like I'll show you momentarily, you want to connect your Stripe and edit your terms of service. You can use ChatGPT to do this. You can use legal templates to do this. The one that Flowdesk comes with off the bat is pretty good. So um, you might be good there again. Well, obviously this is not legal advice, but it is something to consider. Then the other amazing part about all of this is you can plug in your branding, including logo, brand colors, fonts, company details, address, and then social links. This just makes it so easy to make sure your emails are on brand. And then I actually don't use this too much, but if you do want to set up thank you pages or double opt-in features, you can do that all right there. And then make sure you go ahead and integrate your Instagram, potentially Shopify, and any other potential integrations that you may need. And then moving over to plan and billing, this is where you'll see your billing information and the best parts about Flowdesk is everybody gets an affiliate code. That part is really, really cool. Let's jump right into the features starting with email. So I send out a weekly newsletter and every week I come in here and draft it up. And when you hover over any of the email cards, you can immediately see at a glance your open rate, how many send, your, your click rate. And then you can go in here to view even more details about your email that you sent. Click on this little like dots. You have some more quick options as well. So let's just say we're going to add a new email they have a ton of templates that you can start off and use if you have a sale you know what you know welcome email there's tons of options you can also just start from a total plain test text option or you can create one and then use it as like your favorite so that's what I do for my weekly newsletter so if I click view details I can then customize it and then this way I pretty much have my layout all good to go a couple things I want to just kind of show you is it's basically block based and so all you'll do is click a button select what you want to pull in and then just kind of go from there so for example if I want to pull in an image I can pull in any image the other really cool thing is I can also add in gifts so this is something that I started doing recently and I just love having this feature because I see so many cool emails that do this and I never knew how to easily embed it myself one other new feature that is really cool about the emails is for any buttons or links under the link tab you can set an action to add somebody to a segment remove them to a segment Add them to a workflow, remove them, etc. So this is a really cool, powerful tool that you can play with as well. You can also, of course, pull in your Instagram block, and so you'll connect that back in your account settings. I do recommend in your settings back where I show you, you can have made in love with Flowdesk, and then that is your affiliate link. So if anyone clicks that, then you will get that affiliate commission. So for example, one that I tend to use quite a bit is something like this, and then I'll do a community spotlight. So I'll you know put a picture of a copywriter and then put a little bio with a call to action. That's why down here I have want to be featured in my newsletter, apply here, people can apply and then I will feature them because I love promoting other entrepreneurs. Up here, I just have an image banner that I threw together in Canva. This way people remember who I am and what I do. Then when you're ready to send it, you'll just click next. If you want to change the name here, you can, but it's good to be consistent. You'll put your subject line, your preview text line, add segment, and this is where you're going to select your subscribers. Generally, I include all, click continue, and I usually do later. I always send mine, you know, Tuesday, oops, that wasn't Tuesday, but anyways, I always send mine Tuesday at like 8 a.m. And then I can even send a test so I can preview it myself. I'm not going to even worry about that right now. I'm actually just going to go and delete it because that was just a test. Moving on over into forms. So there's a few different types of forms, so if I click new form, there's links in bio, pop-up, inline, full page. 
I use most of these. I guess I don't technically use video or the spinner or the countdown, but these are really cool features. Like if you have a wait list or if you're e-commerce shop selling products, you could do like a percentage off discount, but I'm actually just gonna go back and show you a couple of mine. So for example, with my on-page SEO checklist, this is an inline block that I then embed into my website. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how this comes over into Word. All right, so over in my WordPress, you can see in my blog, I have this embedded. And so the way that this works Works is actually just by coming to your blog post editor and then adding in an HTML block and then grab this inline code and then paste it right here. But there is one other little step and that is to add this header code. And so you actually add the header code in the back end and it basically goes everywhere on your site. So I'm using Elementor. If you're not using Elementor or you're using a different website platform, the instructions will be a little different. Basically, all you do is you're gonna create a little bit code editor that you can play plug in just then copy and paste the script and plug it in. So there's plugins like WordPress header photo plugin. If you're in show it, there's different instructions as well. So if you get stuck, just leave a comment and I'll definitely help you out. So anyways, you can upload an image and then you can customize your thank you page. Now for the settings, you want to make sure that you select whatever segment you want them to be added to. So whenever somebody opts in, they are then added to this segment. We'll get there in a minute with the segments, but basically when somebody's added to a segment, that triggers an email that then sends them this freebie. So it all works together and so I'm just gonna go back I just wanted to show you that one another one that I want to take a second to show you that has some cool features is the pop-up so the pop-up I absolutely love because of some of the settings so very similar again you'll just plug in your information customize it with your branding that you set over in your account settings then you'll come to settings and you can set to display this pop-up after 30 seconds rather than immediately because the worst thing you can do is have somebody land on your website and immediately hit them with a pop-up that makes everybody so annoyed so wait 30 seconds, then display the pop-up, and then you'll just set whatever segment you want them to be joined in on. And the full-on landing page that I use pretty much works the same way. It's just creating your own link, which is in the settings. I don't want to bore you with that, but I do want to go over now to workflows. So as I was saying, when somebody opts in, then a series of emails get sent to them. And again, you can hover over it and have some quick actions. You can toggle it on and off. And so anyways, I'm gonna just pause it and show you what happens. This is where you set the segment. So like whatever segment you're wanting to set, you know, trigger an action for, you can do that right there. Then I send them an email with a subject line, a preview text, and then the body of the email. And super basic, again, I like to keep this little Canva graphic in the top so that people know who the heck they're interacting with. I have a little button to access the freebie and a little description, my Instagram feed. This is a great way, like if you are viewing traffic from Google to then push them into your world further in Instagram. And so then what I do is I have wait a week, then check back with them, give them some tips, and then wait a little bit longer, provide some more resources. And then that's pretty much it. In theory, you would want to eventually sell them something, but I'm not fully there yet. And I still find this to be very, very valuable. Now, if I go just hit this back button, it's still paused. So I need to make sure that I toggle on publish. Moving on to checkout. So this is where I sell my website templates. So as you can see here I have my sales page and then if I click buy now it will take them to the checkout page and so this checkout page is super simple basically all you do is plug in some images put your pricing discounted price if you want name description you can even add an upsell which is pretty cool so if somebody wants to hire me to do their customizations they can do that through this upsell feature if you want to allow them to opt into like a certain segment you can I just have them added to the product segment it all they all work the same way they're just different buckets of segments like basically what happens is I have a workflow that says when somebody is added to this segment, meaning when they purchase it, send them the files and the digital products that they need. So this really only works for digital products. If you're trying to set, you know, have them set up a calendar appointment or buy some service or something, this doesn't really work well for that, but it is great for digital products. You can add testimonials, discount codes. Now you see my only discount codes. If you are interested, you can totally buy it. You can set up the URL. On the delivery tab, I can then go in and customize what this page looks like. And then you can just go and click public. And on the website side of things, it's super simple. This button is just connected to that particular URL. Moving on to audience. Over on the audience side, these are all of the email subscribers along with what they are opted into. You can manually add subscribers too. So if you're on your Instagram and you're like, you know, give me your email if you want to make sure you get this week's freebie or whatever the case may be. Of course, make sure you have consent and just aren't adding people. And then if you are migrating from one email marketing platform to another, you can export your subscriber list and then upload them 
them as a CSV file right here. This way you don't lose any of your subscribers. And then over in your analytics section, you can see all your email marketing analytics at a glance. There's some powerful stuff in here. So make sure you take some time to check it out and see what's working for you and what's not working for you. And just always iterate and continuously test and make improvements. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about Flowdesk, leave them below and I'll get back to you ASAP. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button 